Hello and welcome to the third webinar in our solar series. Uh, this month we're going to be talking about cable management and the importance of getting that right and what um, poor cable management, uh, effects poor cable management can have on the wider site. Um, as ever, I encourage you to ask questions, get in touch with us. There's always someone on the live chat uh, ready to answer the questions as you're asking, uh, as you're watching. Uh, and also, if you've missed previous webinars, they are now available on YouTube. So I encourage you to watch them, get in touch, ask more questions and just see how we can work together. If you've already seen them webinars, it might be worth reminding yourself of what we discussed last time. Anything you've forgotten or any, any burning questions that you never asked, please get in touch with myself. Um, my email will be on the live chat so we can discuss things as we go forward. Also, we have people um, all around the world, in, in probably in your regions that you can talk to as well, and we can point you in the right direction. As we've said previously, Gripple is truly a global company, so we're ready and willing to work with you wherever you are. So now onto cable management. Technology is developing all around the solar industry. We're getting busier sites with more wires, and it's more important that them wires are managed correctly. This is because we're getting increases in efficiencies of panels, increasing in efficiencies of installation of the wider site, increased efficiencies of maintenance, and, all them, and operations, all them kind of things to get more energy out of the site more efficiently. So it's important that the wires and the wire management improve in tandem with these other increases of efficiency. Otherwise, otherwise it undermines the efforts that you've done elsewhere on site. So historically, uh, cables have been managed in a number of different ways. I've seen quite a few creative ways to, to, to manage cables across solar sites, particularly ground mount utility sites. But we see them in trenches or in um, trunking on the frame or attached directly to the frame. However, the industry at the moment seems to be moving towards an easier, more predictable way of cable management. And that's what we're going to discuss today. Because trenching, as we know historically, or as we can discuss historically, um, people do it all the time, but it has uh, implications or, or, or shortcomings in terms of its cost. Uh, the cost of install, for example, or the cost of maintenance. Access for maintenance as well can become tricky. Uh, the cables can become damaged underground relatively easily. Uh, Earth's very, very unpredictable. You can get flooding, you can get rodents and things like that nibbling through. I mean, I feel sorry for the rat that uh, nibbles through one of these cables, but it does happen and can happen. Um, so it's important that we get to a position in the industry where we can look after these cables and make sure they're running as efficiently as possible. Um, you know, putting it underground isn't great for a losses, for example. You know, we can lose efficiency of, of, um, of, of electrical transfer. Um, also, we've seen people um, attaching directly to the frame, maybe being trunking or just cable tying or specialist hangers on the frame. That's all well and good, but you do see some damage to the wires, especially with some of the movement we see on solar sites. We've discussed before um, how important it is to have a very sound structural frame, get that nice and steady. But at the end of the day, we're putting these solar sites on top of hills or in open fields where wind, ice, rain, all the elements, sheep again in the UK, um, can really play havoc with what's going on. So movement of cables and things like that can cause damage to the cables. So that's just setting an introduction of why we, what we really want to discuss today. As I said, trenching is the most common thing we've seen for main cables. Um, and we'll discuss the short, some of the shortcomings of that as we go forward. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. Uh, we'll be sending out some documents as well and some polls along with this, uh, this webinar. So please interact with us and talk to us. It's how we learn and get to know you and be able to help you in future as well. Um, so basically, people are tackling some of the issues we've just discussed with trenching by moving cables above ground. This essentially is where we've seen people utilising catenaries, so hanging wires or tendons from post to post, whether it's across the back of the array itself or on separate piles to deal with the separate loading you might get on cables. We've seen it coming across the back of the arrays on the east to west or string cables as we're coming across all the panels or down out of the, out of the system, out, out of the park on the north, south or main cables. So all of that is the different ways of cable management. Trenching still has its place. I'm not, I'm not saying it doesn't. Um, it's still a great technology. It's a great way to do things, but there are new and interesting ways to do things as well, and that's what we're here to discuss. So people are hanging catenaries, like I've just said, and off them catenaries, they're mounting the wires. So the wires are separated from the frames or separated from the earth to a large extent. And they do that using various hangers or maybe even some cheaper methods or some ducting or some um, cable tray, for example. Um, we just have to make sure that we're uh, uh, 
doing things according to national electric codes or codes in that region. So when people bring in things above ground on these separate systems, and you'll see more of that in some of the cutaways I'm sure we'll be putting in this video, there is some great, great benefits, and that's what we really want to discuss today. Um, the major thing is we're not disturbing the earth too much. That's not great for the environment, digging up soil and throwing it all around. That's how you get erosion or some of the chemicals or carbon being released out of the soil. It's not the most green thing to do in the world. Um, so it's not best for the environment, but also not disturbing the earth gives us as solar engineers access to more land, to more real estate. We can start working more on brownfield land or on landfill or on hard ground in remote areas where trenching it wouldn't be allowed uh, or impossible due to any kind of membrane over a, land, uh, over a landfill or just impossible due to a remote part of the world with really, really hard ground. So you might have to move above ground. So these systems are really important and interesting from that point of view, from, from an installation point of view. Um, and, and actually the really cost effective way of doing things uh, is really fast compared to trenching. There's no big plant and machinery digging around. It's simply stringing cables along on a, on a simple catenary. What this means is that actually in terms of cost, above ground systems are typically three to four times more cost effective when compared to trenching. Uh, for example, in the UK, trenching uh, it can be around £250 a metre uh, to lay trenches of cables, which is a hell of a lot of money for what it's doing when simply you can do things above ground. And again, on that insulation thing, if, you, if you're stringing cables in a catenary, you can do it around chest height or wherever to keep it out of the way of other things that might be happening on site. But it means you're working in easy access areas which can really speed up the labour rate on site and get things finished in a more efficient manner. Um, aside from that, there's plenty of other benefits. We have increased visibility of the cables. They're not hidden underground. We can see them. We have access to them. That's important for operation and maintenance. You might have plant coming around to clean um, panels or people coming around to maintain. The cables are visible. Uh, or if you have to dig somewhere, if there's something going wrong with a pile or you need to do a secondary soil investigation, you can be comfortable with the knowledge that you're not going to hit an electrical cable underneath you. With the best will in the world, the best plans in the world, accidents do happen. So for plant uh, and big machines on site, it's actually a great big bonus there. But also for maintenance, we can see the cables, we have access to them. So if there's any failures or losses or things going wrong with them cables, it's very, very easy for the electricians or for the maintenance team or the developers to find out what's going wrong and where. Now this is very important, not just to keep the site up and running, but it also means there's less downtime on site. You know, we don't want to be shutting sites down for a long time while we get plants on site and specialists to dig things up very carefully to not disturb other cables or things like that. Um, we can get it, we can see it and get there straight away, either replace the cable or repair any damages. So just having it open and having that access to the cables is a really big benefit of moving things above ground. Another benefit is, as I was talking about earlier on, sites are becoming busier, they're getting upgraded, the technology is moving forward. So having access to these cables means we have access to upgrade things around the site. Now, sites originally, in the UK at least, um, were expected to last 25 years. We're now pushing that to more 40 years for the, for the, for the steel work, based on if it's working or not, and making sure after inspections, making sure it's not gonna fail in that time. But that means, Quite often, people are replacing panels or upgrading panels on current infrastructure. If the cables are easily accessible, that makes that, makes that system and that approach much, much easier. So again, just being able to see, have access and do things what you've got on site means you can upgrade your site, keep up with technology and keep that power output as high as possible when you need it. Um, also, sites are getting bigger it allows you to expand, so that's one good thing. But also we see a lot of sites want to move batteries on sites and put batteries on the solar farms as a step gap between the grid to store some of the excess energy. Now having access to the cables, or having easy access to runs of cables to be able to attach these batteries to the wider system just is a benefit. We're not, again, not having to dig things up or disturb the land or anything like that. But I think one of the key benefits, um, and probably the highlight of moving cabling above ground, is the losses. Essentially, by keeping cables above ground, we can keep air moving around the cables, keep them cooler, and stop the cables kind of interacting with each other so much that we get electrical losses throughout the cable. You know, derating is a big thing when it comes to electrical engineering on solar farms. So if we don't have to derate the cables by as much, we can specify smaller cables um, that we know are gonna do the job 
for, for the lifetime of the site, rather than over specifying for them, uh, for them losses, essentially having to derate them. So obviously there's a cost saving when it comes to the cables themselves, but also even if you didn't save that cost and stayed on your bigger, your bigger cables, you have more confidence that they're doing what they need to do. They're moving electricity from A to B without any losses or with reduced losses. So the air movement is really, really important and a huge benefit of moving cable management above ground. Lastly, I want to just touch on the lifetime as well. As I've just mentioned, uh, we want in solar farms to last longer and longer and longer. The big investments, the payback relatively quickly, and we can start making money as developers or whatever out of selling that electricity or powering our firms or, or whatever we want to do with it. But we want it to last as long as possible. We want to be getting into the black, the profit as fast as possible and maintaining that. So lifetime of cables is really important. And it's been found that for, um, for above ground cables, the lifetime's roughly increased by 25%, and that's a pretty big number. Um, and not only that, but like I mentioned earlier on, Earth is really unpredictable. You know, it, we've got geotechnical engineers that can tell you about corrosion and all them kind of things, so please get in touch with us about that as well. Um, but they'll tell you that the Earth beneath me here will be different to the Earth beneath the cameraman over there, and really unpredictable in the way it can act and damage things, and the chemical compositions can change. So any degradation from soil on, on cables, no matter how you try to protect them, can and will happen. Um, earth movement's a big thing as well. So moving it above ground re reduces that in unpredictability and just make sure that um, you can see it and like, maintain it and make sure it's working well and reduce the risk of damaging. Uh, an example of that is a, an earthquake in Christchurch in New Zealand. Around 360 kilometres of underground um, trenched cable was damaged compared to only a few kilometres of above ground. So in terms of reliability and kind of insurance against indemnity against things going wrong, you can see why moving things above ground is really, really interesting. And it's something we really want to discuss with you, how you are doing it on site. We want to learn from you and vice versa to see you know, how we can work together and move things above ground. So why are we talking about cable management? Well, like I said before, Gripple are an innovative company. We discussed this in the, in the, discussed this in the first webinar. We like to do new things. We like, we like to be challenged and tackle problems that we've seen on sites uh, as we've been out there doing our thing, you know, embracing and anchoring. We see these issues that we've just discussed happening. Um, we've got an electrical division of the, of the business in building services where in large sheds and supermarkets and things like that, you'll see ele electrical kind of containment hang on our, hung on our products. So it's a natural progression for us to look at cable management in solar. So it's my pleasure to, uh, to announce that we're launching a cable management system into, into the solar market. Uh, that will consist of the catenary wires itself. Again, we discussed in the bracing video that Gripple are great with wire rope. We know what we're doing. We can do all the engineering behind the catenaries to make sure all the loads are being taken care of, um, whether it be wind, snow, ice, or the loading of the electrical cables. We have really fast systems for joining and tensioning these wires and all the bracketry to go with it. So really we want to go hand in glove onto, onto the sites you're working on. How can we get involved in that cable management? So please, please, please get in touch with us to discuss it. And also we're launching a set of hangers. Again, these are, good, these are comply to any electrical codes or national codes that you have in your regions. And these simply slot onto the wires. This is our string hanger for the, the smaller version. The system's called the CRS uh, system, the cable routing system or routing system if you're in America. And essentially, if we have a catenary wire, we can drop this onto the catenary wire like a carabiner. It will clip onto it and then it's secured in that position. And then what it allows you to do is side load your cables and keep on adding and adding and adding as you go along. And these will be spaced out along a catenary wire. It has a swing gate to close and then it's stable and firm and it's not going to go anywhere your cables are secure against all these external forces that we keep on discussing it's got a nice large area so you can get plenty of cables in there there will be data sheets going out with this webinar so you can understand more of the product information what it does and how it works along with we'll be cutting into some videos of the product as well throughout this web webinar uh, it's going to be made out of a, a impact modified polycarbonate, UV stabilised, so it'll last a hell of a long time, it'll last the lifetime of the site as long as you need it to. And it's also steel reinforced for that extra kind of um, you know, security about the loads of the wires or the wind and snow loading. Also what's really beneficial about it is it's got a nice wide base on the bottom. It's going to really reduce any kind of damage to the cables um, that might be happening due to movement and things like that, friction of things moving over, over things. We discussed 
earlier on that when you attach directly to the frame there could be sharp edges that might start fretting through them cables these products are designed to eliminate that so we have our string hangers but we also have our main hangers which are for the bigger north to south cables so your bigger ac dc cables uh, so we have separation between ac and dc so again we can meet the electrical codes there's a decent amount of separation this one just slots onto your catenary wire and again clips in nice big areas that we can handle plenty of cables again can be opened more wires put in or the first wires put in keep on adding we discussed earlier on how things have been upgraded sites have been upgraded if you have these systems in place if you've invested in this then you can keep on adding and changing cables very very easily without having to dig anything up or worrying about access and things like that again great for access for repairs something to note on all of these systems as well we do have a little kind of crown at the top a little part here and that's just so you can clip a data cable in if you're working on a tracker system for example and there's a decent 100 150 mil um, separation between the data and the electrical cable as well so we should really really get rid of that interference and allow it to be an all-in-one system for all the cabling that you have on site something else to note about the main hangers is that we appreciate that as you add more and more cables, the volume might to add up of these cables, so you might need more space. So something that we've introduced as well is a modular system, so you can get two, two brackets that clip together securely, won't come apart now unless you physically have to do it, and therefore you can stack up as many of these as, many of these as you want and take care of as many cables as you want and build a system as you go that's easily accessible. So like I said, it's really exciting for us to be involved in this market. We've, um, it's a new development that's launching now. So please, please get in touch with us, ask us questions about it. We're very, very keen to get on site with you and get some trials with you and get, just basically get these working and see what you guys think and, um, and hopefully win some projects with you as well to get some of the benefits we've already discussed. That cost saving has got to be a big thing. The access and the green thing as well. Let's not forget that this is less plant on site, less digging, um, fewer materials sometimes as well so really the handling and shipping of these things and the installation really um, benefits you environmentally as well from a whole, whole project point of view so basically we're really excited about the launch of this product uh, you'll see a product focus video in this webinar as well so you'll see more about the features and benefits I've touched on and we'll send some downloads out for you as well but yeah, like I said, the most important thing is please get in touch with us. We, we love talking about this stuff. It's a new innovation for us. Um, and we, like I say, we make everything ourselves so we can you know, make sure the quality is up there and right for you and make sure we're hitting the right delivery targets for you as well. We appreciate that um, building these sites is quite arduous sometimes. And so delivery and, and shipping and things is important. Gripples Global. Uh, we have warehousing around the world so we can make sure we have these in stock where you are if you start speaking to us so we can get, get on site and deliver them promptly and solve the problems that you have on site. So to summarise, uh, cable management um, is a really interesting market in solar and a really important one. You know, we need to make sure the efficiencies in cable management is rising with the rest of the efficiencies in, in solar, in panels and everything else, and it's not overlooked. 
Um, and this is a really interesting way to do it. And we look forward to, uh, to working with you on it in the future. Please, again, any questions, please get in touch with us. There's always going to be someone there to answer on the live chat now. If not, my email will be on there as well. So please get in touch with me and I can point you in the right direction to either a regional rep or some of our electrical specialists. So thank you very much again for listening. Uh, look forward to seeing the next webinar. Make sure you sign up for that. Uh, thank you very much and see you soon.